Next into the den are Jemazin Yama and Shiraz Ahmed, whose new business is injecting a fresh idea into an established industry. I think the dragons will hopefully appreciate kind of where we're coming from with the product. Are ready, everyone? Yes, do it. To receive inv an investment from the dragons, it would be life-changing for our business. It'd be quite good to invest in something that competes with Vitabiotics. Pitching to the dragon, who's already made millions in their industry, is a dream come true for Gemma. I feel Ted has a special place in my heart. He's the vitamin king, and I'm his vitamin queen. Looks like a bag of wheat. Oh, so that's what it's like when your heart's beating at 100 miles per hour. But will any of the dragons be willing to boost the business with some cash? Hello, my name is Gemma and I am the founder of Drip Boost. Hi, my name is Shiraz and I'm the medical and finance officer. We are here to ask the Dragons for a £25,000 investment in return for 15% equity. Drip Boost is a mobile IV vitamin therapy and vitamins injection service. We deliver IV drips in the comfort of your own home. And here one of our fully trained and registered nurses has just inserted an intravenous cannula and she will now be able to connect one of our IV drips that contains a mixture of nutrients different amino acids, vitamins, minerals and electrolytes. Our clients include busy executives, fitness folk, vegans and vegetarians who lack in B12, as well as the wellness crowd. Basically, the cash-rich time poor. We're helping them navigate the stresses of the modern-day world with the modern-day nutrition. Since July of last year, we have turned over £10,774. To date, we have sold over 100 IV drips the intravenous nutrient therapy market is still relatively untouched here in the UK and we feel this is a great opportunity for the dragons to come on board. A drip takes just 30 minutes. This is just a demo. Thank you, Annabelle and Carly. Gemma Zinyama and Shiraz Ahmed are looking for £25,000 for 15% of their company... Thank you. ..that supplies and administers vitamins via intravenous drips and injections. The first dragon to have a shot at questioning the entrepreneurs is Tuka Suleiman. I have seen this sort of thing on Instagram. People go partying all night till five in the morning and the next morning they've got the drip. We don't promote um, people to go out partying and have a drip with us after, but if they are feeling dehydrated yeah. and they want to pick me up, we'll certainly give it. Can I ask? Going through there, what stands out for me? Essex cocktail. What's that? Is that alcohol? It, it certainly isn't, Peter. Oh. It was a name I gave for Brandon, and I can assure you I've given the Essex cocktail to people living in Hertfordshire. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so it's not just for people in Essex? It certainly isn't. We'd be more than happy to give you one. Right. <laughs> OK. Um, I'm not a big fan of needles in the best of times, but it, it feels an extreme... <laughs> process. I would probably prefer to take a tablet rather than get a nurse round to put a needle in my arm and drip feed me. We have people that like to gather their friends and have a drip party. Are you being serious? I am not joking. People have a drip party. A lady had her 40th birthday party this Saturday. Our nurse Annabelle went to the house. She did six drips. She did four B12s and two glutathione treatments. We made just shy of £950 in under three hours. But it doesn't feel celebratory to me. That feels like... I don't, that's like a Hannibal Lecter scene. People really do look forward to these treatments, wow. and we go far and wide to provide them. The novel vitamin drip concept has certainly got the dragon's attention. Tuka Suleiman is curious about the content of the bags on offer. Gemma and Shiraz, is the actual raw material, and where do you source that from? And um, We take it from a company in Essex. Right. So, the company in Essex, they specialise in this? Yes, exactly. And do you get test results? We don't. You don't? Because, you know, anything you put inside your body needs some form of test. 
the MHRAs, the Medicines and Healthcare Product Regulatory Agency, and they've um, deemed that intravenous nutrients don't fall under medicines um, or drugs. So um, as long as no medical benefits advertised, they don't regulate to the point where you need testing. We also do have a medical questionnaire that is given to clients before they have the treatment. Right. The incidence of um, al allergic reaction is incredibly low. But you're not medically, or are you qualified? No, I agree. I'm... Are you medically qualified? So I'm, I'm a registered medical practitioner. Um, there are certain nutrients which are um, uh, recommended to completely avoid in clients have certain medical problems. So, okay. so, so it is a medical risk to some patients. God forbid that I invest in this and, and something happens, I don't forgive myself. The news that the business needs no medical regulation appears to have given Tuka Suleiman cause for alarm. But Peter Jones seems more interested in needling his neighbouring dragon and supplement royalty, Tej Lalvani. Is this something that you think has an opportunity of redefining the sale and purchase of vitamins? If you say yes, Peter will invest. <laughs> um, we think it does. This delivers 100%. The tablets that you take um, will go through your liver, get broken down, so you don't actually know how much you're actually being absorbed as being used. So it's all a wellness play. I mean, even in vitamin tablets, there isn't any scientific evidence behind it. Ooh, don't know about that. <laughs> That's a very uh, broad statement to make, that there's no uh, clinical evidence in, in, in awesome. vitamin supplements. It's not recommended as um, by medical governing bodies, for example, the, the, the National well, Institute Well, I mean, uh, the, the, the UK government recommends vitamin D supplementation from birth. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, I accept that, yeah. Let's get back to, to what you were talking about with the, with, with the drips. I personally prefer using your digestive system to digest something. And also I believe taking uh, a small amount every day is better than just doing one hit of something. That aside, I just think it's a messy way of doing things. When you say it saves time, actually I'm half an hour I've got to be stuck there, you know, with a needle in there. I would say it's also more for people that when they want to have it in the convenience of their own home, we have a lot of people that don't come to our pop-ups. I could take a vitamin out of my house, so I just don't see how the convenience factor is, is a benefit. You know, the other thing is, what's the price of, of a drip? Uh, in a home visit, they can go up to two hundred and twenty pounds um, wow. per trip, so, um, and plus a call-out fee. Um, so what could that be? Three hundred pounds? Five pounds, you could get a vitamin B supplement, you know, for a month's supply. I don't see how you could scale this. Two hundred twenty pounds for one home visit, you know. We were approached by a wellness company who were looking to offer um, our treatments to their client base. I can see the market with wellness clinics, but again, that market is small for you guys. How many wellness clinics are there in the UK that, you know, this could work in? We've popped up at a number of wellness clinics and we give them a commission for also having access to their clientele. We've just found that we have had repeat customers, especially those um, vegans and vegetarians that lack in B12. But you'll really be surprised at the number of people that are, are really happy to come time and time again to have these procedures. And pay the high price as well. But we, we are selling them. Gemma gracefully takes on the Vitamin King by letting her repeat orders do the talking. Will an investment in this health drip company be Deborah Meaden's bag? This, to me, is everything wrong with the world. The thing we've got in humans, we've just got to look for new and for different. You've made it incredibly expensive. It moves it into a really exclusive area for people who are silly enough to think, I've got more money than sense. Honestly, if you made millions and millions out of this business, I wouldn't have one ounce of regret about not investing. I just don't like it. And I don't like its ethos. So um, you won't be surprised to hear. 
Ahmad. Deborah Meaden's damning verdict on the vitamin concept takes her most definitely out of the investment equation. Will Sarah Davies see this as a healthy business proposition? I'm someone who takes supplements, you know, I, I take vitamins regularly, but it's just not sitting comfortably with me as a business. That looks like a hospital setup to me, and it, that, that's what's just making me new, and, and I just can't quite get past that big cloudy fuzz in my brain that's just saying, oh, I don't like this at all. Thank you, but I'm out. It's so unusual that I can Imagine some people using it and going for it. But it's a bit weird. It's not a business that I can possibly even contemplate investing in. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you, Peter. Look, guys, um, I, was, I was really shocked when you said that, you know, there's no clinical evidence in, in vitamins, and yet here you're trying to sell a vitamin product. It doesn't make sense, and I think your lack of knowledge in the space does worry me. And I'm definitely not going to invest in this, so I'm going to say I'm out. Thank you. With Tej Lalvani making it four dragons out in quick succession, only Tuka Suleiman can give the entrepreneurs the cash boost they came for. Whoa, how are we doing? Do you need a bit of trip? <laughs> okay, so I think in the short term, you'll probably make some money, cover your salaries. But I don't believe that, you know, it's a business that I want to get involved in with a big time bomb underneath for something wrong happens in the industry, and then the whole thing will change. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so Thanks much for, for your Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It seems that Gemma and Shiraz's trip to the den has been in vain, as they leave empty-handed. Wow, that was difficult. It didn't go as well as expected. When they were talking, I was just a bit hazy. I'm thinking, who chooses to do that? Mm, no. It's huge in the Middle East and in America. The UK usually is about five years behind. Give it some time and IV Vitamins is coming onto your doorstep in the UK.